Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today I'm with Jim. Jim, what's your last name? Sheehan. Jim Sheehan. Now, Jim, this car, you might be thinking it's a 57 Chevy. I think you'll enjoy the story on this one. So I'm going to say up front, if you've seen a car like this with this kind of a story, or if you haven't, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button if you like this one, because this story I think you'll like. So, Jim, what do we have here today? We have a 1957 100% Survivor. Original paint, interior, drive, drive line, and also the tires are from the 1957 The showroom. tires are original. This car has how many miles on it? 20,000. <laughs> now, before I run too far, you call your place here something. What do you call it? This is Split Window Ranch in Cave Creek, Arizona. Now, why do you call it Split Window Ranch? Uh, I happen to own one of those. So there, in the background, is the reason for the Split Window Ranch. Now, step back with me, though, for just a second. Come on over here. And you build garages and houses. Yes, we do. So this is one of yours. And in the description, if you're someone who wants a house like this, I'm going to leave the website so you can contact Jim. Let's go right to our featured attraction. So I'll start in the back. The 57 Chevy Bel Air. Now, let's, this, this might take a while. Let's start right off the bat. Tell the story on this one. How did this car get only 20,000 miles still? Well, there was a young lady that bought the car when she was 59 years old. And she decided to have it, enjoy it for a few miles on it. A little later on in life, the second driver of the car, he bought it and put it in his collection for the past 35 years. <laughs> so he held it and just sat on it. Just sat on it. Now, obviously, let's just show those tires. So these are the original tires from that time period. I want to I want to feature in some of that. I'm gonna get a little closer so you can even see the original cracks in these tires. So this is somewhat. Look at this. This is dangerous to drive on these. It's yes, just, it is. It's, yes, just, it is. it's as simple as that. <laughs> this is not a car driven. We've actually taken it and pulled it out so that you can see it. And also, might I add, show off some of Jim's garage work. So this is truly a treat. Now this car, correct me if I'm wrong, has never been videoed before. Not uh, that I believe. It, it, so, it, I mean, it's been photographed, obviously. It was in a collection, a museum, but this is the first time you're going to be seeing it. So you're seeing a 57 two-door Bel Air sedan untouched. <laughs> I'm going to take you and show you some of the beautiful pieces of this one. Unbelievable. I know you've seen 57 Chevys before, but maybe not in this original condition. And remember, this is a survivor. This is the paint. This is the ding. This is what it came like in that time. I want to show you this. Safe Driver Award in 1959. <laughs> Look at the wonderful chrome for the windows. You can see the pieces there. That's crazy. The Firestone tires. Just like that. I know you've already had some companies come out. Let's take a look under the... Uh, let me just show that. Let's take a look under the hood, shall we? We'll, we'll get to the trunk as well. That's a great sound. <laughs> Let me take my time just... Jim, what was your reaction when you heard that this car... Uh, tell me the story on how this car came to you. A friend of mine was in the collection and bought several cars out of the collection 
and he needed a space to store two of the cars, one from, being a 51 Mercury. From the museum. From the museum. So the museum cars were coming, and go ahead. And the other was this 57 Bel Air. So I gave him space in the garage to park, and eventually, two weeks later, I realized I've never seen a car like this in this condition, and I had to have it. So we made a deal, and here it sits with me today. What, what was it like when he said, yeah, okay, let's do it? Fantastic, because truly I have never seen nothing like this in the past 50 years, this condition of paint, this condition of interior, and the drive line, and it just, I've driven probably five miles with it, you know, just to go to the gas station. And it just is brand new, like a day it came off the showroom floor. Is it amazing or what? It really is. It's a boat, you know, you got to grab both hands. Yeah. And you got to turn. And, but the smile on your face you'll get is, you know, you can't replace it. <laughs> I, I, you know, look at the, the original wear in here. Ay, ay, ay. Unbelievable. The paint off the valve cap, valve covers. I'm going to feature that for a section. Wow, so just uh, under the hood. Looks like it was Z-barded or something. Yeah, in those days, you know, we've yeah. slipped under the car, and that's how they rust proof yep. the whole car. Yep. Let's take a look at the uh, trunk, shall we? We'll get to the interior. The big fins. Obviously bought originally at Barrington in Minneapolis. That's great. <laughs> and that's all just the way it came. Exactly the way it came. Original paint missing. Look at that. With the nubs. Wow. You know, I've said this before. I, one of the goals to the channel is to leave a historical legacy. And when you see something this original, you know, this this does it. This this gets the chance to show you something like that. Alright, we'll close that. Let me take a look at the door here, which the sun's hitting it just right. Got a little wind here off the mountain. Look at this. Now, Jim, I'm curious, will you get a second set of tires for this? Do you plan on putting any miles, or are you just going to put this in the garage and just leave it as a museum piece? At this point, it's a museum piece. Eventually, if I was to drive it, I would put just driver tires on there, that replicas of what we have now. Yeah. Wow. I mean, the iconic design of the 57 Chevy... I consider 57 maybe one of the greatest design years in cars. And come, come with me for a second. You said something about your cars. You said, what, what do you drive? I call this uh, wheel estate because they're very valuable if you keep them in the right condition. <laughs> I'm in the wheel estate business. That's awesome. Sounds almost like Elmer Fudd would come up with that. I'm in the wheel estate business. That is great. And you also share because they're 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 rolling art. Absolutely. And people can enjoy them. That's great. The clock's not working just the way it was in 57. <laughs> that is tremendous. Wow. I, I know I've said that a couple of times, but that's crazy. Let's fire it up, shall we? Okay. And by the way, the smell under the hood is wonderful. It's got a little bit of gas smell.
get a little exhausted idle and then we'll give it a rev. Go ahead, give it a little kick down. See if we can kick it down and get that idle. shut it down. <laughs> All right, we'll shut that down. That 283 is smooth, Jim. We it's kicked like it. a sewing machine. Yeah, like a sewing machine. We kicked all the water out of the muffler, too, which there is we great. Go. Yeah, we cleaned that all out for you. There it is. 1957, look at the radiator, depending on what part of the country you come in, the radiator. That's just great. The fenders. Well, Jim, first of all, um, wonderful, wonderful car. I'm just uh, so pleased to come out and see you and see the car and share it with the viewers. Thanks for being on my car story. Yeah, thank you, Lou.